today's video, I'm going to be sharing a decorate with me for my new bookshelf. Um, it's kind of a fall decorate with me, but also just kind of like in general, I've never decorated this bookshelf before. So it's going to kind of be a process. Um, I got this bookshelf from Target. It was originally $130, but I paid $110 for it because it was on sale. I do have one piece of decor on the bookshelf already. This is my um, Vining Periwinkle. They go by a lot of different names. I think it's easier to just say um, a periwinkle plant, but I knew I was going to put him here, um, get him out of the cold. He's very long, so I knew um, I was planning on putting him at, on the very top shelf of this bookshelf. Um, I'm going to bring him inside during the colder months, and he goes outside during the summer months. So this is just what the bookshelf looks like. There are five shelves in total, and we are going to be decorating all of them today. So here I have some of the decor pieces laid out that's going to be going on my shelves. I'll talk about each one briefly. So these two vases are from Magnolia Homes, um, the actual Magnolia site, not Hearth and Hand. Um, and these were on sale when I bought them ages ago, I think. The bigger one was maybe five, and the smaller one was like $3.99. Um, there was a medium sized one, but guys, I broke it yesterday and I was so sad. Um, so we're gonna have to make it work with just two. And these stems are also from Magnolia and they were on sale when I bought them as well. And I think they were like 50 cents. So I got a really good deal on these. This is just my letter board. Um, it's from Target. I'm sure everyone has a letter board at this point. Um, it's really nice to kind of just like switch up whatever you can switch up the whatever's on the sign if you want to make it like seasonal for fall or Christmas um or if there's like something to celebrate I just like that it's so versatile um you can switch it up whenever you want and I, th I have a plan for this I think I'm going to put something kind of guest room related on here so I'll, I'll kind of show you that after I do it and then this is just a um, like Geo tea light holder. And I got this from Home Goods a long time ago. And it's kind of like flat on the sides. So I thought that would be good to kind of like hold some books up. This bowl is from Target very recently. Um, it was on sale for $10. I just put some pine cones in it. Um, kind of fall related, but not like. <laughs> too much. Um, I, I want the bookshelves to like have a touch of fall, but I don't want it to be um, as obvious as like the rest of my house. And I'm trying to incorporate like gold in this room. So you'll see that I have a few gold pieces that I'm going to be adding in on the bookshelves. And this is one of them. So this is also from Target and this is out right now and it's $5 from Threshold. I thought that was a fair deal for this little candle dish. Um, I don't know if that's what you would really call it. And I got this candle from Target right now as well. It's the pumpkin spice scent. I don't plan on burning it. I'm just going to leave it in the dish. And it is, I wasn't really planning on putting like too many fall colors in here, but this is a really soft orange and... I think it'll just add like a tiny little bit of fall to the bookshelves. And then I have this gold pumpkin that I hauled earlier. Um, it's actually a candle, but I plan on using it just as a pumpkin. I also hauled this fox. Um, he works seasonally, but I might leave him up year round because I love foxes that much. I have this wood slab from Target last year. I don't know if I plan on using this on the bookshelf, but it could be good to like give things some height, add some texture, give it kind of like a fall feel. I wouldn't leave this up year round, but during the colder months, it could be a way to just kind of like um, subtly add some of that fall. So if that makes sense. And then a couple other gold pieces. I hauled these as well, these wire pumpkins. 
they're like a muted gold they're not super shiny or anything but you know two different heights I also have these signs I hauled this sign from Joann's and then this is my this is my boyfriend he is a pilot I don't know where he got this I'm assuming probably from like oh from at home well, I wasn't gonna guess there but so from at home probably a long time ago so I'm not sure if it's still there anymore but um, I think it would look really cool on a bookshelf and I think it would be cool to kind of layer with maybe another sign I have a plan for it we'll see <laughs> and then I have this box this is just like a plain box I got at Michael's for like two dollars and I plan on putting keepsakes in there <sighs> I am a sucker for keeping cards I just feel bad throwing cards away especially ones with like really cute um like inscriptions on them or whatever notes so I got that box to kind of put some keepsakes in um so that way there's a place for them and then all my books so I have all these books and you know I'm not gonna go through where I got them I did get this at Target <laughs> this is a really cute book um it was out during like Christmas time but there's a bunch of books I have even more that aren't here at the moment that I need to go pick up that are in storage at my mom and dad's. So these are what I'm working with right now. I bought these um, bookends from Target. They're online only, but they're magnetic. So I thought that was like really cool. Um, so you can like make it fit whatever kind of size you need it to fit. I don't know, I thought those were nice. I, um, Figured I would probably need them for one of the shelves. I don't plan on putting books on every single shelf, but I will definitely have a couple shelves with books on them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm pretty sure I wanna put these guys on the bottom. I wanna put stuff on the bottom that is kind of, I don't know how to say this, like not important. <laughs> like if the dog gets to it or um, we have like, a friend over with their kids like if someone grabs something off of it it's not that big of a deal so I like those there um, they're a good size I don't really want too much on this bottom shelf especially because I don't feel like bending down and reaching for stuff all the time so I want to put this on the top shelf here and this kind of stands pretty nicely so I'm not like too worried about it being up there I have no method as to which way I think you should work with your shelves. I'm just kind of working toward the middle, I guess. <laughs> but there's really no rhyme or reason as to why I'm doing certain shelves. Um, I wanted to layer it with this. I thought those would be cute together. But the shelf is too far away from the wall. And this thing's like not really going to stand up on its own. Yeah, it's not like sturdy enough to stand behind it. So I really want to layer this with something. So I'm thinking I might layer it with the other sign. We'll see. But for now, there's that. And I think I want to put him up top. So pretty simple. That's kind of my decor style. Um, the less clutter, the better. So, I, I like that. And I forgot to switch this at the end. So, it's going to say something else at the end. But this is what I was planning on switching the board to. Um, just putting our Wi-Fi password on there for our guests. So, I'm going to put this guy right here. And I think these three shelves are just more functional. That one, that one, and that one. I wouldn't really put things I would be reaching for typically on the bottom or all the way on the top. But I think books and probably like the keepsake box I want on these three shelves so I can access them realistically. I want to put this guy on this shelf I think. We're going to see how I like him there. And then I plan on putting this on that shelf with it. So, I like that. That's simple. Um, kind of having an idea. 
I'm gonna try something. So I added just this slab of wood, super simple. I didn't know if I was actually gonna end up using it, but I think I like having it there. It just kind of like adds a little bit of fall without being too in your face. Um, I think like year round I wouldn't keep it there, but for the colder months, I think it's kind of cool. So I'm happy with these two so far. I am gonna switch out the letter board, but I haven't done that yet. <laughs> So I'm gonna try and layer a couple slimes here. And this works nicely because he can kind of just like stand up in here. There's more support right there. And he's not gonna topple over. And we have my Hello October sign. I think would look really cute. Like right there, kind of layered. And then I want to put the vases over here somewhere, but I'm not <laughs> going to try and lift them while I'm holding the phone because I already broke one. So I'll show you what this ends up looking like. So I'm happy with how that turned out. Um, I wasn't planning on <laughs> using, like layering these signs together. I was planning on putting the airplane one up top and then I was planning on having a third vase. So. I knew I kind of wanted to use the vases with the Hello October sign, but I was not planning on it looking anything like this, but I, I really do. I like the way it turned out. I think it's really cute. And over here, I plan on putting some books, but I'll show you what that looks like at the very end. And now we have one more shelf, and this is pretty much what we have left. <laughs> so I'm going to add the books in at the end, but I think... I kind of like having this bowl down here because first off, if I fill it with things and I have it higher, you're not really going to be able to see what's in the bowl. Not that that's that big of a deal, but looks good down there. And then I plan on using this for a bookend. So having that kind of there. So I think that looks okay. I'm going to put books there. In books there. I've added in the books. I'm using my magnetic bookends, which you can't really even tell, so I like them. You can always turn your books this way if they're not like the prettiest <laughs> looking books, um, which I think looks kind of cool. And also you can stack. I would like to have more so that way it's a little higher and they kind of meet higher up, but this is what I'm dealing with right now. But you can always um, stack them in different ways too. They don't all have to be like facing upright or facing this way. Um, you can kind of play around with it. So have fun with it. So this is the finished product. This is what all the shelves look like. My biggest tip would be balance. So try and stagger colors, um, heights, categories of things. So like florals, books signage, um, even like putting a shelf in between those signs so there's a little bit of space. Um, I didn't put all the gold pieces on one shelf. I didn't put all the books on one shelf. I didn't put them all on one side. You don't want one side of your bookshelf to be too heavy with certain things and the other side to be like kind of bare, like all the tall things on one side, all the short things on another. Um, so just try and balance it as best you can. I know shelves can be really daunting for people. Um, don't feel like you have to like completely fill them with stuff. I know that is more, um, some people's style than others, but especially like don't buy pieces that you're not in love with just to fill the space because you're going to waste a lot of time and you're going to be frustrated because you're going to look at it and have mixed feeling of feelings about your shelves and be like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if I really like it. So it's okay to, you know, leave a shelf or a space empty for a while while you kind of think about what you want to do there, or you're just looking for the right piece. So this is the final product. This is what mine look like. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found a little inspiration and enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one, which is going to be on Monday 
the officials start to fall, my fall hymn tour. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.